Let's talk about creating sleek, straight styles with your T3 flat iron. Whenever you're styling your hair, prep is so, so important. So if you've got really curly hair or if your hair type is coarse, we highly recommend prepping with a blowout. That helps to just stretch out the natural pattern of your hair and makes a really nice foundation for going in with your flat iron to get a sleek, straight style. Now for all hair types, you always want to detangle and apply a heat protectant. I like to detangle by parting my hair down the middle, taking my favorite T3 brush, and starting the detangle process at the ends of my hair, and then working my way up. You start to meet any resistance. Don't tug too hard. We always want to be very, very gentle on our hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my heat protectant. Because I'm going for a smooth, sleek, straighter style, I'm going to use a heavier, more oil-based, cream-based heat protectant. I focus the product on the mid shaft of my hair, working down to the ends, and just applying the residual up closer to my root, but I'm never placing product like this directly on my root or on my scalp. And I take just about like a dime-sized-ish amount for each half of my hair. All right, should be prepped and ready. We'll let that soak in. Next step for me is going to be turning on my T3 flat iron. Today, I'm gonna to be using the Lucea one and a half inch flat iron. Something that's very, very critical whenever you're heat styling your hair is using the proper heat setting for your hair type. And although there's nine heat settings on this tool, I'm gonna to be using a heat setting three. Then sectioning is gonna be your best friend. So many people, including my personal best friend, love to straighten their hair by just going in and like doing this. Don't. It makes your life so much harder and you end up taking more time and you're applying more heat to your hair than necessary. So section, section, section. I use the T3 clip kit and what I like to do is take this top half of my hair, clip it out, and now I can work from the bottom to the top of my hair. Once your flat iron is completely heated up, you can go ahead and start styling. And you want to take sections that are about one to two inches in size and we can glide that hair so so easily through the t3 flat iron i like bent ends so i'll go ahead and curve the ends in like so there's some fabulous technology in the t3 flat irons that make it so so easy to style your hair in one pass one of the features that I love is the Ceragloss coating. It's ceramic that sits on the outside of the plates. Ceramic heats up really evenly, so you get an even and consistent heat experience. Also, ceramic has immense glide to it, so it's so, so easy to run these tools through my hair, and it gives my hair so much shine. Now, if you've got some stubborn edges or areas near the root that are somewhat hard to style and have like, it's like the baby hairs, instead of taking your flat iron and applying an ultimate tension and pulling down, I like to manually grab the section with my hand and tap, 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 tap. And it just really softens it and allows those baby hairs to sit flat. You also have great tension on this tool with this precision control hinge, I'm able to just flatten, and then if I need it to go harder and have more tension, I can squeeze it even further. <laughs> Pretty compelling stuff, right? All right, I'm gonna finish styling and I'll show you the final results in just a moment. Look at that beautiful shine. This style is absolutely going to outlast my day, and it's all because we prepped our hair perfectly and we also used the right heat setting and took proper section sizes. That means this style is absolutely going to last and we were able to style our hair in a single pass.